Okay, so we got a, a couple of 10 V knives in from Malcolm Holt. Very much appreciate you, Mr. Malcolm Holt. One of them is the River's Edge Cutlery Exclusive Pair 3. The Scorpion. Sorry about that light glamour. This satin blade is beautiful. Uh, so I did say pair of three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other is the Kaiser Harpoon. And it's supposed to be in uh, 10V as well. And I remember when this knife came out, was it, uh, maybe last year, year before last, something like that. I was just like, damn, I mean, it's a really good price on this knife. Uh, keep in mind, this one's coated. Um, we're not going to do them both in the same video because there's really not going to be any comparison. Right. Is there? I mean, they're both the same steel. Should we just go ahead and do a, a versus video? Okay. I mean, they are the same steel, but this is coated. So, like, and it, it kind of feels like that same coating you get, like a powder coating. Yeah. So, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the number. Well, you know, like, so, uh, making calculations to, to correct everything. I don't know. Uh, one, one second. I know Andrew mentioned uh, speeding these busy videos up. I'm, I just now saw that comment last night. It's crazy. Man, work's been crazy, y'all. He's like, if you want to speed them up and put some music in the background. Um, I know they're not very entertaining, but I like to do everything in live. Yeah. <clears throat> right now, we're just going to test it to make sure that thing is falling on 63. If it's not, then we'll make adjustments. I'll do that live too. I'm not using my eyes for this. No, no, you. <laughs> I'm home. Big Daddy is home, so you can uh, sit back and relax and just guess right numbers. How about that? <laughs> 63. So we are calibrated. Um, you see that little dial is a little off. It's because the last time we calibrated it, we used the. Uh, Turn this thing method, yeah. you know, instead of a uh, turn those uh, turn the screws method. Uh, so anyway, uh, zeroed <laughs> out sixty three. What are we doing? We're gonna do both of them in the same video. Sure. Okay, let's do the Kaiser first. And are you gonna take you want, you want to guess first? Yeah. Let's go sixty one. 61 okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go 59 i think the steel is probably heat treated better than that but because of the coating uh i'm i'm gonna go a little softer okay um with it being a fixed blade i'm i'm assuming they probably heat treated it to be a little softer but it is a edc size, size yeah. fixed blade so we're gonna test it on the handle right here between the holes <clears throat> And from what um, Outpost 76 was saying, most of the coatings are making about a half a point to three quarters of a point difference. And that's that's kind of what we've seen on the ones we've had uh, models from the same right. brand of coating I, versus not. And I, I believe he was specifically talking about Benchmade, though, and that's probably Cerakote or whatever. Uh, this is uh, more like that... Uh, Spray bed liner. Stuff. Well, it's not quite <laughs> tops thickness, but it's it's not far. We both went over. It's a uh, fifty-seven. Malcolm, I'll put another hole in your knife, man. We're gonna do it on the other side just to see if there's any difference. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit further up, but I'm gonna go right above this hole here. Uh, I know it'll still be covered, but it's closer to the blade. So if there is any differential, um, heat treating, yeah, there shouldn't be not on a powder still. Not like people are just sitting around forges trying to get this stuff up to a certain temperature, <laughs> focusing on the edge more and stuff, not with particles still. <clears throat> Fifty-seven and a half. All right, man. Um, so we both went over. Yeah. And like I said, there is a coating. So, and it does feel like 
tops ish you know yeah. so that it's a good possibility that 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 coding is a uh, throwing the number off more but both of us went over so neither one of us get a point um this is a satin blade so we shouldn't have a problem at all with getting a nice reading on it you know this reminded me my son has a, a 20 cv pair of three that we haven't tested yet and i don't know why but we need to get that in there Okay, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go back here beside the pivot hole. Not directly because of the, the track, right? We don't want to put a dimmer right. in the track. Oh. So we'll go a little above it. <clears throat> we'll go 60 on this one. Okay, but if you want to change your mind, uh, 10V is almost identical to K390 in composition. Uh, I'm going to go 63. Okay. <clears throat> you want to change your mind? No. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that first. <laughs> Stupid. The look on his face. Oh, crap. What happened to my machine? <laughs> it's timeless recording it is 4th of July happy Independence Day everybody if you get the day off I don't I gotta drive to Birmingham I think Courtney's gonna go with me you gonna you yeah. go with me yeah. you could stay here and make videos but uh we just have to redo 75% of them <laughs> 62 Just a second. We're putting another hole I'm in still here. I'm going to get my point. No, you're not. <laughs> he rolled his eyes at me, y'all. We're going below the the track this time. On the other side. If they're heat treating their K390 at 65, 66, I don't understand why they'd be heat treating their, their CPM 10V at 62. I call foul. 62.75. It's almost at the 63 line, but it's not. So, Courtney, take your point. I did. All right. 62 to 63 is what I would call that. So we got our holes hey. right below the pivot. And we have our hole right above the pivot. And uh, yeah, I expected a higher number, man. But you know, it is what it is. And he even tried to get me to change mine. I did. Dirty, dirty well, I was, I was, you know, <laughs> honestly, I, know. <laughs> I was trying to give you um, the opportunity to, because I was like, but the Seki City's uh, heat treating their K390, and Golden is heat treating their CPM 10V. So, um, not the same people heat treating their right. you know, those steels. So, I don't know why they did what they did, but this should have, yeah, you know, like as far as steel composition and target hardness and all that stuff, if they're capable as a company, if Spider Co is capable of hitting 65, 66 on a K390. And they should be able to repeat that and go in Colorado. Um, I'm not mad at 62, though, or 63, you know, like 62.758. I mean, like, I'm not saying it's a bad number, not right. at all. It's just uh, they should be very similar in, in uh, HRC. All right, y'all. Well, that's that. You guys have a good one. And there's me whooping his ass again. There's Dave Dave show him. Show him the Show him the score. I'm gonna start uh, like like guessing everything's forty. <laughs> <clears throat> Guys, have a good one. We'll catch you on the flip side.